We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa. I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing, this guy. Bricks. No worries, Gramps. I think we know what's for lunch. Okay, time to take you down. Yeah! Yeah! Anchor shot! Ha! See, Grumps? I'm getting better. An entire horizon of white, a sea of clouds, and at its heart, the world tree piercing the heavens. This, this is the world we call home, all rest. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in all rest lived on the tree, together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans. And we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now, those titans are beginning to die out. Uh, oh, the brazier does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh, right up. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. 
Mm, more so than before. I wonder... ...if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... ...Fonset Village will be gone too one day? It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So, you Titans were born up there, is that right? So they say, for what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist, this Elysium, and the Creator, who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. Back to making money. I think this hole should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right, else I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right, later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it every time, too. No one, I'm afraid. Figures. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship.
and arrived. What? That's it? It's life, Mayor. There's still more than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Arday and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Reg's good salvager. Could be good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie doodles. Sending monies to Coroner Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is a beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's cause Gramps doesn't charge rent. Eh hey, hey? All right, I'm counting on you. Roger, pleasure doing business. Hello, Rex. Papunin, been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, no, how say? Yes, Pippi. Been worse? So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, Rex come from Fonset Village in Leftherian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? You should go straight to boardroom of chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner, ask for Rex by name. The chairman? For me? Thank you for accepting summons. I, Banner, Chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. P pleased to make your acquaintance. We hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have dincy wincy thing to ask of Rex. A request straight from the Chairman. Reward is... One hundred thousand gold. A hundred thousand? Friend here, right? Actually, that just the advance. Another one hundred thousand provided upon completing job. Two hundred thousand gold in total? Uh, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> You agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? You really have skills for this? Of course. I'll be fine. Nah, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir? Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul up. 
There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area. But it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That, when Banner have stroke of genius, should hire Rex! Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> A child salvager. Jen, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly hundred grand. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Domark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop you... it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Gramps showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. Such rowdy bunch. Here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need, then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. And that about covers it. All right, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Uh, hey, come back here, will you? Rex!
I'm back. Miss me. <laughs> okay, bring it on. Ha! Yeah!
Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Slept like a baby. Wheeling out the maelstrom for this. Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat. What are you, twelve? Wait, maybe you are twelve. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're gonna swallow a fly. What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Gotcha. What, you little... Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Rex, we're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later.
and arrived. That's the black ship from the harbor. Is it following us? Oof. It's way too cold up here. You? I'll have you know I've got a name. It's Nia. They've started boozing below decks. You should join them. Why aren't you there? It's not that I hate it. I just really don't need a headache right now. Huh. Good thing you're not a salvager then. Where's that? Swim like a fish and drink like one too. That's the salvager's code. Pff, sounds terrible. I don't think I'll be changing careers. Hmm, probably for the best. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvagers do. So, kid? My name's Rex. <laughs> okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? That there. The world tree. I don't get it. You know, you find all sorts of things digging through salvage. Some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed, though, there's fewer titans each day? I saw one go under just the other day. It was a pretty big one. There must have been loads of animals still living on it. Living space is running out, day by day. And sooner or later, we'll be the ones sinking down into the cloud sea. But up there, Elysium is waiting for us. <laughs> Seriously, kid, Elysium, don't tell me you believe that gaff. So that's uh, why you're a salvager. It's just alive for children. And that there is just an overgrown shrub. If there's a way to get up there, maybe it's hidden below the clouds. Is it really that crazy? Seriously, though? There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone could have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that, isn't that worth believing in? Nobody can tell you what to believe, but... <clears throat> Everyone, huh? What? I always thought people were pretty selfish by nature, but you. Huh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, the same one who taught you to use arts. Yeah. He basically raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not like... I'm not sure I catch a drift, but this Gramps of yours sounds all right. Oh. Huh. And you're all right too, kid. Not that different from me. We're in position. All personnel, report to stations. Salvage team, 
Shoot up and proceed to hatch. Your target is located inside a shipwreck 450 pairs straight down. Searching the wreck while submerged is too high risk for our tests, so we'll be using flotation devices and cranes to lift the hull first. Next, we'll split into teams and explore the interior. Once the target is found, retrieval can commence. If that's clear, let's begin with attaching the floats. Get into position. We're paying your low lives a lot, so don't screw it up. You smug so-and-so. Is that it? It looks pretty ancient. Is that the... propulsion mechanism? I've never seen one that shape before. Which country made this? That's massive. The appearance matches our reports, but it's what's inside that matters. Object is secure. Proceed to second phase. Excellent work. You're not half bad, you know that. I do this for a living, remember? All teams? Proceed inside when ready. Right then. Let's get moving. You with us. Me? You gonna drag the kid along? Seriously? Guess he thinks you need all the help you can get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There, you've got your orders, haven't you?
Treasure acquired. So that's how drivers and blades fight? So ruthless. It's like they're monsters themselves. Nice. I'm sure glad these drivers are on our side. You too, Dromark. No need to get hysterical. It was a walk in the park. Yeah, but still. That's enough yapping, you pair of brats. Let's move! Kuh. Talk about self-important. Gramps always taught me to respect my elders. Elders. <laughs> they make short work of monster. These no ordinary fighters. Big job in Moradain going well, too. There's much money to be made from these people. I'm shaking. Yeah! Watch out! Thanks. My lady, I, owe you I would advise you to put more thought to your defense next time. I'll be fine. Offense is the best defense, right? Show him a thing or three. I'll do as I please. Yeah! Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, Nia! I just found the shiniest trinket. You want to see? Hey, Nia! Okay, bring it on. Yeah! 
Watch out! Get up! Thanks! Get up! You Grip you! Heal. Ha. You're late! Yeah. Ha! Come on! Oh, yeah. I'm strong. feeling strong. stronger than before! Much, much stronger! No! We lost the upper hand! Yeah! Ha! Yeah! Ha! Yeah! Am I bad? I'm bad. Sword back! Sword! Jarrah! Healing Halo! I'm good shot! Great priest can retreat! My lady! I would advise you to put more thought to your defense next time. I'll be fine. You're all mine. Offense is the best defense, right? You're all mine. And arrived.